Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install this ladder. It's the ladder I would consider to be the best ladder you can get. And I'll also have a link for it in the description down below. So stay tuned. So I'd say this is the best ladder you can buy for your van. It's uh, pretty easy to install. It doesn't require any drilling and it's somewhat affordable and it's very sturdy and it looks pretty nice. I'll put a link for this in the description down below. It only takes about an hour to install this and uh, I'm gonna do it right now, so I'll show you how it's done. So these are all the parts it comes with. You've got uh, two of these clamps for the bottom, one of these for each one of those, and two of these for the top, and then a bunch of nuts, bolts, and washers. So yeah, these go up top. This is gonna go like this. You've got the first hole here, and then the second bolt will go in the third hole there. So you're just gonna set up the bolt, the lock nut, and then the washer. And these are uh, just half inch sockets. Bolt, lock nut, washer. Before you tighten this down, there's a little bit of play in it so you can adjust it. You want to pull it the way that gravity is going to pull it, which is up, and then tighten it, tighten it down. There, now the top brackets are in. Next is the bottom. Okay, so for the bottom bracket, you're gonna go through the first hole and the third hole. This is the bottom of the ladder. And you're gonna put it through here and here. Just like that. So before you snug it down, just gonna pull the direction that gravity will be pulling it. So it'll be pulling the ladder down, pushing this bracket up, and then you can tighten it down. And then same thing on this side. Okay, so once you've got both of the bottom brackets in, this piece here is going to slide through here. You just have to remove the um, washer first and the bolt. This slides through like that. And then put the washer here and screw that back in the top. Just lightly right now. And then same on this side too. Pull this out. Now don't tighten any of these down yet. We have to put it on the door first. Once you assemble the ladder, you have a decision to make. Do you want to block the license plate or the door handle? Last time I blocked the door handle and you can still open it. You have to kind of like reach through the ladder to open it. But this time I think I'm gonna partially block the license plate because it'll be more convenient that way. Plus that door you open more because that's the first door that opens. And this door you don't open as much. So once you've decided on a door, you can take your tape measure and make a mark right at five inches inside on the door. And that's where you're going to start the inside bracket. So I'll just use a marker and make a little mark on the top of the door there. inside bracket goes right on that mark we just made. Next we're going to come down here, just extend these. You can see I need to extend it a little more. To right there. Get, make sure you get the rubber gasket over it. So once you have this roughly in place, and I measured five inches in over here again, you're just gonna start tightening this bolt down, the second bolt. 
and that's what's going to compress everything and pull it down on the top and the bottom. And you want to do each one a few turns at a time. You don't tighten one all the way down and then the other. Once you get it a little bit snug, you can go ahead and uh, close the door. That way you can just verify everything's level. Check your measurement, five inches. And then go ahead and finish snugging it down. I found uh, this wrench the easiest one to use, putting the half inch over it like this. And then just turning it, lifting it. It's kind of hard to get in here. You can only give it like a eighth of a turn at each time. You just got to stick with it. Okay, so these are just tensioning rods. So these tighten everything down. And once everything's snug, like it is now, then you tighten these two down, which is going to clamp this rod here. And once it's clamped down tight, you actually remove this tensioning rod and you just save that if you ever need to adjust the ladder. This one you want to make pretty snug. Once these are tightened down on both sides, at the top and the bottom, you've got this little bolt here that you're gonna tighten down. And then you're just gonna do that on all four corners of the ladder. And once you've tightened all four corners down, now you can remove the tensioning rod. It should come right out. And remember, you wanna save this. You won't be able to uh, assemble this without it. That's it, it's fully installed. Really sturdy, highly recommend. I think it's the uh, best ladder you can get actually. Link in the description down below for this ladder if you wanna get one. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. There's a lot more videos to come.